right, folks, we are back. We got a windy day going on today, so hopefully you can hear me good. Uh, what we got going on today, we haven't pulled it out in a while. We have the 22-inch Weber Performer. We're going Santa Maria style today on this cook using the Gabby's Grill Santa Marie accessory, okay? So I hadn't pulled this out in a while. What you see roaring right here is oak wood that is just coming up to temperature. Awesome raging fire. We're gonna go back in and check on our spatchcock chicken, right? See how that marinating process took place last night. And before you know it, we'll be back out on this grill, adding that baby to the Santa Maria. So for those who don't know, Santa Maria style cooking is that direct cooking right up under open fire, okay? It is a way of making some awesome, awesome chicken and awesome other things as well. I've cooked beef, I've cooked tri-tips, everything Santa Maria style. It's a wonderful thing, all right? So here's how it works. All you do is you lower for more heat, as you can see. That would be more of a searing function, or you bring that baby up for indirect type heat, okay? So it has a lock right here, which will lock your flywheel in place. Very simple design. Junior from Gabby's Grills did an awesome job when he created this thing. This one is specific for the 22 inch kettle. I believe he has them in different sizes as well. So go to gabbysgrills.com, check out the website and see if there's one for you, okay? Now, I'll meet you guys at the cutting board. All right, folks, we're back. So 12 hours later from marinating our spatchcock chicken, I'm gonna show you where we're at. We just came from outside and checked out that awesome grill setup using the Gabby's Grill Santa Maria style accessory, right? So here's what we got again. Yesterday I showed you, we used Chef Moretto's. This is the marinade for our chicken today, 12 hours. All I did is I flipped one time in between and you can see the beautiful color that the Chef Moretto's imparts on your chicken, all right? Chef Moretto's blend is a mix of all kinds of different fruits. You have oranges, you have tangerines, you have lime, you have a choto, you have all these awesome spices, you have cumin, and it makes a beautiful color and definitely penetrates into the meat, okay? What I don't wanna do is miss that flame we have working out there, so we're gonna hurry up and get this baby out there, all right? All we're gonna do is bring a sheet pan over. All right, I'm gonna move this to the side. We're gonna bring a sheet pan over. I'm gonna dump this marinade. So give me a second, I'll dump this and we'll come right back. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get our chicken up and we'll lay it right here on our sheet pan. All right. Now, do you see what I mean with the beautiful rich yellow color we have? Okay, so nothing left to do now but finish the theme and that's gonna be with the Chef Moretto's Chicken Pollo Seasoning, okay? So I'm gonna go light on that because we already marinated all night long, okay? So I don't want to go too heavy and have my bird salty. I just want a nice flavor, all Chef Moretto's before we put it on that oak fire. Okay, so we're doing a light coat of the Chef Moretto's on the back side. We're gonna flip and repeat on the top side. Very simple, very simple. We let the marinade do the job for us last night and now we're gonna let the oak wood do the fire for the grilling process. I think we're done, folks. I think we're done. Okay, I will meet you outside and we can get this baby started. And I am so excited about it. We can see how this flame and how this Santa Maria style cooking works. You're gonna love this final result. I'll meet you outside. All right, folks, as you can see, the flame is ready. The chicken is ready. We are now at my favorite part of the video and that's let's get cooking. Folks, we're gonna go ahead and add this beautiful spatchcock chicken to the Weber Performer. And we're going right on, baby. Right on. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll let this sit right here for around five or 10 minutes. What I'm gonna do is start working with the flywheel, bringing it up and down and getting that char on there that is just so coveted when you're talking about beautiful Mexican style chicken. So we're gonna get that going in just a second. I'm gonna take my tray in, get my hands and stuff cleaned up and we'll come back out and start some major grilling, okay? I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, folks, so you can see our beautiful fire raging down there. What I wanna do now, we're about five minutes in. I just wanna bring it down and go ahead and start getting this protein heated up, okay? We do have a windy day, so you wanna have it closer to the flame because you wanna make sure that the flame is uh, touching the meat and making sure that it is cooking. 
So that's where we're going to stay for a little bit. We get some juices flowing and before you know it, we'll flip it over and get the other side as well. But that's what's up. This is Santa Maria style cooking at its best. All right. I got more logs you can see right here. So we have more oak logs to power through this cook. So we'll get back together when we get further along in the cook. And if nothing else, we'll come right back in a bit and I'll show you that first flip. It's going to be amazing. See you in a second. Okay, folks, we are back. Check this baby out and look how it's cooking right above this beautiful oak fire. I hope you can hear that sizzle. It is time to do the first flip on this baby. We definitely want to make sure to get it browned on both sides. Oh, this is going to be great. Check this out. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. Isn't that amazing? We have a nice char. Our Chef Moretto's color, right? That yellow color from all those different fruits, that char from the wood, this is coming along absolutely amazing, all right? I'm gonna let it go on this side for around 10 minutes. Come back, flip one more time. Then we'll come back and just regulate our temperatures until we reach 165 in the white meat and 175 in the dark. Now we're gonna come back and we are gonna add lime juice and put even more flavor on this chicken, okay? Okay, last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and raise it up. I see those wood logs are starting to burn out. So I wanna add another log right here and get that going. And one more here. Okay, this here will definitely make sure we power through this cook. We'll let that catch, it won't take long at all. Stay indirect right here and let the wood catch first, okay? It's gonna catch really quick because it's nice dry wood so the flames will catch on fast. You see it's catching already. And that's what it's about. This is Santa Maria style cooking at its finest. I'll see you guys in a bit when it's time to flip one more time. And then again, we'll just regulate temperatures until we get a beautiful, beautiful Mexican spatchcock chicken. And then we'll head to that cutting board and check it out. See you in a bit. All right, back at you around 10 minutes later. I wanna go ahead now. Our flames are doing well. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more. What we'll do first is we'll flip it over and see if we have the color we want. If we don't, we'll go right back on this side again, okay? Let's see, folks. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that. Love it. Okay, we're coming back with our lime and doing that on this side as well. And just continue on with these flavors and spices of Mexico. What a beautiful looking bird. Let's bring it on down on the flames. Get this char we want. I'll say about there. Okay, so we'll let the wood keep on kissing that fire. And then what we'll do again is we'll get back together uh, and check internal temps together. So we'll do that maybe in around 25 more minutes. Start checking internal temps. From there, we'll go to the cutting board and check out the final product of our wonderful Mexican spatchcock chicken made with Gabby Grill's accessory and the Weber 22 inch performer. I'll see you guys in just a second. Folks, we are back and two hours later, we are at the cutting board checking out the final product of our Mexican style spatchcock chicken made using Gabby's Grills Accessory, Santa Maria, and the 22 inch Weber Performer. Folks, this chicken looks absolutely amazing. Look at this beautiful color. The crust, it is just crispy on the outside. We grilled our onions. We have limes to add more Mexican flavor to it. The Chef Moretto's did its job by finishing this chicken with such an awesome color. Nothing left to do but take a bite and close this video out. So let's do that right now. Man, folks, I'm excited. We got a little garnish here making this thing look good. What I'll do is I'll just cut right here into this breast, just like this. Oh my God, just like butter. Look at this. This is chicken done right, okay? You can see the beautiful yellow color from the Chef Moretto's. You can see the tenderness. I'm telling you this breast is tender through and through. Here's the bite. See, if 
you want to do a test, all you have to do is taste the breast first. That lets you know if you did a good job. And what we did today was a good job, okay? This chicken is divine. One more bite. And we got to do this right, okay? Let's get a bite of this onion with this beautiful Chef Moretto's chicken. This is absolutely some of the best chicken I've ever had. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let everyone know what Deeski Grills is up to. And as always, at Deeski Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. Thanks for hanging out with me on this cook. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.